we just played 13 games and um, that was a long, long season. Um, we didn't have a lot of strength and conditioning before we went into those 13 games. Um, I think that was a mental strain on our guys. I think it was a mental strain on our coaching staff. Um, this was a year unlike any year. Um, I, I know it, at Georgia Southern, five losses is not acceptable. Um, I know any losses is not acceptable. Um, but I will, uh, I, I know when I'm on my deathbed and I look back on the year 2020, uh, I'm going to be very proud of that year uh, because our staff, our players, dedicated themselves to something that was totally different than anything we'd ever seen. But the thing that I'm really proud of is the mindset of this football team. Like there was never a time where like they, when they made their mind up, they were going to do it. And we said, Hey, you know, we trust that we're going to be safe and we're going to do this. They committed to it. And that's why we were able to play 13 games. Um, I don't know what the, is it gonna is it gonna be a four teams that played 13, three, three teams that played 13? Uh, that's impressive. That's impressive. Like, I mean, I I'm still sitting here shocked because I'm just like, for our guys to go week in, week out, and no positives, that meant they were doing things right, you know, because it's too easy to get COVID. Like it, it's just too easy. And <clears throat> for them to get 13 games in, man, I I it's hard not to be proud about that. You know, um, again, we'll, we'll look at the eight and five record and we'll go, man, all these games that we lost by one point, two points, six points, whatever it was. I mean, it's going to eat me till I die. There's no question. Um, but for us to play 13, that that's impressive. The other thing that I'm proud of is just the next man up mentality we had. Um, but a lot of people don't understand how many people got counted on this year to play. Um, and for the most part, everybody that was asked to play stepped up and made play. I mean, one guy that jumps out to me is Gavin Adcock. I mean, that guy right there, you know, was a walk home for us, uh, ended up giving him a scholarship right before the bowl game. Um, but that guy stepped up and made plays for us. And, you know, just just having people, Justin Birdsong, uh, that's another one, stepped up at safety. Um, look at our quarterback situation. I mean, I mean, it, you can go on and on about it, uh, tight end situation. Um, that next man up mentality by our guys and, and going, you know what, it's my turn, I'm gonna go do this, um, was very impressive to me. And the way we finished the season with that bowl game, um, I mean, we played with a fire, we played with a passion, we had fun. Um, it looked like Georgia Southern football. And I, and I, you know, I just really felt like it was great momentum going into this year. Um, but those guys, they stuck together, they stuck through it, and, and they, were way, they were able to finish the season off the right way. Um, and then if you ask me the things I'm disappointed about, um, you know, I, I'm hesitant to say anything about being disappointed just because, yeah, I, uh, was it the New York Giants coach that was talking about opting in instead of opting out? I mean, that, that hit home to me, man. These dudes opted in. And uh, so it's hard for me to be disappointed about anything other than the fact that we lost five games. And, um, you know, I would have liked to have played better on offense. Um, I would have liked to have played better on special teams. Um, I think we had a tremendous defensive year. Um, there were times where we didn't play as well on defense, but I, overall, I think we had a tremendous defensive year. Um, I just want to get better on offense. I want to get better in our special teams. Um, and, and I want our defense to even just try to get even better. Um, and I think if we can put all that stuff together, you know, 2021 can be very special for us.